Here is my 1981 GPO 782 in the ivory colour. Now basically all this is, is a push button touch tone version of the 746 rotary dial phone. And indeed it's the exact same thing. All they've done is taken out the rotary dial and put in a touch tone push button keypad. And it is a 12 button keypad as you can see which means it is a touch tone phone. You'll always identify them as a touch tone model if it's got the star and the hash key. They did do pulse dial um, push button phones in this style, but they didn't have these additional keys at the side, there were only 10 buttons. So the 10 button versions were pulse dial, the 12 button versions were touch tone. Now because of um, digitalization being quite late in the UK, many private um, exchanges were still using the pulse or loop disconnect method of dialing. Um, at their exchanges because digitalization hadn't quite become mainstream at that time. So this phone really at that time was designed for commercial or business users which is why it was only available by the GPO in ivory or two-tone grey. Which is unfortunate but never mind. I still do like the ivory and I'll have to get myself an ivory rotary dial version a 746 phone just so it'll match because I'm a bit like that but anyway as you can see it's in real good condition there's no sun damage into it at all it just looks quite um, different at certain angles on the camera for some reason but in real life it's there's no um, sun damage into it at all the um, curly cards in really good shape as you can see and it is the original one so I was really pleased with that I did replace the line card because the um, the clip had snapped off the plug, the BT plug, um, so it could easily pull out the telephone jack. So I just um, put a new card on. This originally had a grey um, card, which was like a flat card, not a rounded type. Um, because it's from the um, early 80s, it was when BT were already issuing phones with the, um, the BT plug, or the in phone as they called it at the time. That's what those style phones were called where you could plug them in, which is still the, the type of plug they use now. Um, it's never changed. So anyway, here's the uh, keypad. Um, it's got a nice sound to it. It's got quite clunky keys, very typical of the 80s. It sounds very um, 80s computer keyboard type keys, very clunky. There's the uh, dial card. It says operator dial 100, emergency dial 999. Because it's a uh, personalised dial label, I've covered my number up there. And here's the handset. It's a regular old GPO handset. There's the receiver, there's the microphone or the transmitter. Now it's got a new um, microphone, which you can see it's the red and grey one, which is the electronic type. Um, but the receiver is original. There's the cradle, you can see the switch hooks there. And show you around to the back. There's the carry handle. And on the base, as you can see, all the feet are intact. There's the uh, bells, I don't know if you can see them there. But anyway, um, 782EET it was made by, which is Plesley. 81 was the year it was made you can just about see that post office authorised release stamp there from when it was rented at the post office so I think I'll just show you it dialing out I'll show you the um, touch tones first so you can hear them working I'll have to ring dial zero or something first so it doesn't ring the speaking clock because the speaking clock in the UK is one two three so anyway there we go So there you go, you can hear the um, touch tones there. So, there's the dial tone. So, I'll just ring Morrison's so you can hear the um, touch tones when I do a call menu option.
So there you go. So as you can see, a touch tone um, phone is a lot more convenient in today's modern world because um, on those call menu um, options things where it says press one for this, press two for that, um, a rotary phone doesn't recognise that because it's it's pulse dial and not touch tone. Um, it only recognises tones on those call menu options. So I will just give it a ring for you so you can hear the bells. Um, it does have the older bells in it, which I put in there myself. It had the newer type bells, which don't they don't sound as nice, I don't think. So I put in some earlier 746 bells. So it sounds a lot more authentic now. So, here we go. I'll give it a ring for you. Call home. Calling home. So here's the ringer. Every time I hear that um, bell ring, I was imagining someone answering the phone in a posh voice going, yes. <laughs> anyway, um, so there it is, my GPO 782 touch-tone push-button telephone based on the 746 rotary phone in the ivory colour. So there we go, everything there is to say, and a nice little demo of it there. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.